Big up everyone, I hope everyone's well. So I've got a bit of a video that I'm going to put on quickly. Um, it's a backwards and forwards between Venice and Decca from yesterday and this morning. I think I think there's been more that have been released this morning. This is what I said to someone yesterday. YouTube, YouTube is very fast moving. Things you can speak about one thing one day, and then the next day there's a completely different other scandal or drama that you you know that you can talk about. You're not just stuck on one one subject, if you know what I mean, or get into one subject. Fair enough, I have I have in the past, but unless it interests us, then I'm you know I'm not going to speak about it again, am I? So, well, I'll put this video on quickly, and then I'll come back to you after it. So, Decker mentioning my name again. Decker, what on earth do you think I'm scared of? Listen, I have eliminated any problems that can come my way because I am a family man. I am a peaceful man. I like a, I like a fight. I like a tear up. That is it. What do you think I am scared of? You absolute melt. What a sausage you are, mate. Let me tell you something. You are the scum. Of the earth, mate. When you fucking listen, when you're your age and you've got no friends, you've got no kids, you've got no wife, and you still live with your mum and dad, that is a very sad existence. Listen, you're not even half the man I am. You aren't. That's truth. Listen, I'm going to say this now, right? Listen, me and you have had conversations in private. We spoke in private. Me and you will never ever be friends. I've told you that as well. We'll never ever be friends. We'll never see eye to eye. My loyalties will always be with you. You know who? And I've told you this. Let me tell you something. You know you can't fight me. You know you're scared of me. You know bare knuckle, boxing, K1, all out dirty fight. You can't beat me. You can't beat me. You know this. You're scared of me. You, you know this. I feel every time you've been in my presence or every time I've spoke to you in private, you have let off this stench of fear because you know you're frightened of me. And that's on my kids' life. Listen, on my wife and kids, you have let off a stench of fear when you have, you've been around me because you know you know, I will fucking destroy you. Destroy you. You are a poor version of me, Decker. A poor version of me. Listen, I walk forward and I can take a shot and I can bang. You don't, you're a poor version of me. The only reason you think you have got a good chin is because you fight men who are half the size of you. You fight men who are fucking shit. Let me tell you something, mate. I've been kicked clean face, clean in the face. I've been hit, hit with hammers. I've been jumped. I've, I have never been dazed or budged or, or been rocked or beat. And you are not the man to ever, ever trouble me when it comes to fisticuffs. No way on God's green earth. Listen, I am ready whenever you are. In fact, whenever you come back to the UK, and this is not, no threats, no, no nothing, because I would never go to another man's house, especially with mum and dad's house, and I would never do anything like that. But the moment you're in the UK, the moment you're back in the UK, I promise you, I'm going to land in Carlisle. I'm going to go live on Instagram. I'm going to make video after video after video on YouTube of me being on your fucking road, being in your town, waiting for you to come and see me. And when you do come and see me, you can record it, you can put it on whatever you want. I'm going to put some manners on you, pal. You've, you've mentioned my name for the last time, mate. Whether you don't come back or not, if I was you, I wouldn't come back to the UK, mate, because you're going to get fucking hurt. Bad. Bad. I am going to sleep you. You are going to be laid on your back making funny noises. I'm telling you now, you're getting put to kip. If you ever in my presence, mate, I'm going to fucking drop you. Like a bad habit. And you know. Listen, Decker. Be honest to your fucking followers. You know you are frightened of me. The stench you have let off whenever you've been around me. The stench of fear you've let off is being fucking stenchy. Stinky. Because you're a shit house, mate. I know what you are in real life, mate. You're a shit house. You're a proper pathetic shit house. That's what you are, mate. Stop mentioning my fucking name, Decker. I don't talk to you. I don't mention your name. Stop mentioning my name. My, every time you mention my name or every time you talk to talk about me, my wife and kids get messaged. Your fucking sick little following come over to my Instagram and my wife's Instagram and my kids' Instagram and message my kids and my wife. Every time you've mentioned my name, I get trolled bad. This is the reason why I'm fucking fed up with you mentioning my name. So what I'm going to do is, mate, I promise you, mate, what I'm going to do is, if you were ever in this UK, mate, I'm going to land on you, mate. I'm going to land on you, and I'm going to hurt you bad. 
because you know you're fucking petrified of me. You will move heaven and earth to stop me from mention, from stop me landing on you. Listen, another thing. What you've done in the Philippines is a fucking rat move. You are a grass pal. You are a fucking proper ratty grass. Honestly, I've never seen another man break a fucking cord like you have. Listen, whether he was sleeping with another woman or not, I'm not saying he was. I've got time for Marty. I like Marty. I think he's a decent bloke. What you've done to that man is the biggest, scummiest, rattiest move I have ever seen in my life. You're not a man, mate. You're not a man. Listen, you are not a man. You're like a schoolboy. Little fucking frightened schoolboy. That's what you are. You live... You're talking about men and people coming on social media, living on social media. You're the fucking rat, mate. You've never walked it worth the day in your life. You've never worked a fucking day in your life. You live on social media. You, li you thrive off it. This is what you wanted from me and you're getting it. Listen, Decker, I'm telling you now, mate, if you're ever back in the UK, I'm going to land on you, mate, and I'm going to put some bad manners on you. We know that you're frightened of me. Me, I know you're frightened of me. Listen, you know you're frightened of me. Just be honest with your followers. Just be honest. Every time you've been in my presence or spoke to me, you have been petrified of me, frightened of me. Decker, do not test me, mate, because I, I promise you, mate, if I ever get my hands on you, you are going to get air bad. You're going to get air fucking bad. Whether it be bare knuckle boxing or not, I am going to put some manners on you, you fucking big shit house. Just don't mention my name again. A little message to Paul. Go to Carlisle. Come to Carlisle. What's the worst you're going to do? You're the bully. You're getting angry and you're getting mad because I'm speaking the truth about you. Nobody else has got the gojones to stand up to you. Your problem is, when someone, say, when someone criticises you or says something about you, you go off it and start threatening them. Just bully mentality. That's all you do, you're a bully. You think, I, you think I've got no right to say something about you when you've backed all the people that go against me? All the things that have been said about my family. Are you taking? Are you joking? And you robbed me in the Robbie, Robbie, Robbie Brown fight. You've never liked me. You used to sneak. You used to prop a sneak with it. You won't say anything about me normally, but you'll, you'll behind my back or you'll side with all the people that go against me. You're the biggest bully on YouTube, man. So what? Come to Carlisle. I'm what? You think? Do you honestly think I'm bothered about you? Truthfully, man, I'll kneecap you. Trust me, pal. Come to, come to Carlisle. See what happens. Honestly, pal. Truthfully, you're a bully. That's all you are. Blown hot air constantly. Roid rage on everybody that criticises you. Listen, Paul, right? You don't scare me. I am not bothered about you. I never have been bothered about you. Your problem is, when you're criticised or someone has something to say, you start making threats online. That's all you do. Okay, so do your best. I'm not bothered, pal, at all. It doesn't bother me, at all. The thing is, you sided or you mates with the man that's ruined my life. You know everything that's went on. You were even praising the Riddler a while ago for his friendship. You're just like the rest of them, lad. All right, you're just like the rest of them, but you're a bully with it. Big bully, that's all you are. Decker, the rat heggy. So, I'm a bully. So I've stood up for myself, because you keep mentioning my name and I asked you nicely not to. So I've stood up for myself, told me, told a few home truths, told exactly what you are, who's was a fucking little shit house. You're a proper shit house. So now I'm a bully. So someone who's your own size, someone who weighs similar size, is similar size to you, weighs the same, you know, an heavyweight, has called you out on what you are and what I want to do to you. Now all of a sudden I'm a bully. That shows the level of shithousery that you were at. Because I'm not five stone light than you, I'm a bully. Let me tell you something. That just shows how frightened you are of me. Because if someone of my size, who claimed to be a fighting man, started calling me out and caught saying stuff about me, the things I said about you, I wouldn't go, uh, you bully, I'm going to kneecap you. No, I'd say, and send your location, pal, or send your number, we'll have a discussion, and as soon as I'm back, we'll sort it out. But well, you haven't done that, have you? You haven't done that. So what you've done is, you've continued to play the victim. Bully, Venice is a bully. No, 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 I'm far from it. You are the bully. You, and come on YouTube, 
You live off YouTube, you live off drama, you thrive off the back and forths of people like me. Well, let, you, let me tell you something, this is the last video I'm gonna make on you. You are a shithouse rat. You are not a fighting man. You're a fucking coward. You're a coward. When you're back in the UK, you let me know because I will oblige you any day of the week. I will come to your, I'll come to your back garden and I will, on my own and I'll fight in your back garden. You can go live and put it wherever you want because all I want to do is put my, I tell you what as well, I don't want paying for it. I don't want no money. You can keep all the money. You can keep everything from it. I just want to come, put my hands on you and, dump some, and do some serious damage to you, you fucking big rat, shithouse rat. That's what you are. You're a fucking absolute fairy in the mirror is what you are. Fucking shit house. So to be honest, my my opinion of that is is all that Decker's trying to do there is generate money, generate a fight that he can get some money from. Remembering he's he's called out more or less everybody. He's he's failed to fight this one, failed to fight that one, or this one doesn't want to fight him, that one doesn't want to fight him, and now he's in the Philippines. The video that is just released just there, I would be very worried for whoever that girl is that's in the bathroom that shouted out to him. Don't know whether he set that up, but that's very, very funny, suspicious. Um, that he's saying he's got some girl pregnant or something. It's absolutely crazy. And to be honest, the whole situation makes me feel sick. Um, all he's doing is baiting Venice. He's baiting him to try and make him lose his temper so that he jumps on a plane and flies out to the Philippines because I don't believe for one second that Decker will come back to the UK and fight because I reckon he's he's running from things. You know what I mean? He's That's why he's staying out there so long. He had the chance to come home when a few weeks ago, especially when he was up for that court case. I'm sure he was up for a court case at some point. I heard people talking about it, but now it's just disappeared. So we know we know he's he, he's avoiding the UK. So he's gonna want Venice to fly out there. Venice will wrap him up in two minutes. I know he will. He will wrap him up like a Christmas present. Decker is just. I don't. I just don't think he's as he's. Uh, I just pull Venice. I might be wrong, but I don't think I am. So let's start with these live streams because that's already twelve minutes. Um, first up, I've got a bit of living in London from last night um, about the Uncle K situation, whether he got arrested or or not arrested or living in London. Just I don't know where he got it. Well, I don't know where he got his information from. He said from his gang, the uh, what was he calling them? I can't remember what he was calling them, but he was more or less saying that the police were his were his boys. Not many people called him a grass, though. A couple of people called him a grass, but not that many people. Um, but then he, I think he did explain that it wasn't him who found the police. It was either the neighbours or the person that come to smash his window, which I don't know. That doesn't make sense, does it? But depending on what the person wanted out of it. So I'm going to put this bit of living in London on and then I'll continue on. Now come back to the come back to you at the end. Hey, you got him! We got that motherfucker, man! Yeah, if I did. Yeah, what's happening, people? Shout out to Dolly. Shout out to the blind, they're still broke, but I keep it real, you know what I mean? We keep it real, people. How are we? What's happening? How are we? How are we? How are we? Vicky P, what's happening, baby gal? Who else we got? Jackie, what's going on, mate? Terry Turbo, oi, oi, Penfold, I'm good, mate. Lulu, what's happening? Frosty! Come on, people. Get everyone go around the campfire. Yeah, I was living in London's here. We're having a little chit-chat. We're having a little chit-chat. Ah, feels good. And we've got another song. Today is all about songs, uh, just, just having fun, loving life, loving freedom. 
Because some people playing this life, acting like this life, there's a round two. There's no round two out there, people. Be smart with your freedom and be smart with your choices. Because you never know when you can get fucked up. Trust me. And we've got this one. You've got to wait for the ads. You know what I mean? Let me mute the ads. I don't want to get the ads. I'm just going to let one build. 171 people. Come on, like I ain't even left, mate. Poor Shatman. Mm-mm-mm. Let his superpowers start working. Ah. <laughs> Uncle Kane got his superpowers. They took his granddad hat off. His little flat cap. Who remembers this song? Yeah, I bought this on tape cassette when I was a little young G. Come on, people. I don't know. Not everyone will know that song, but the real G's will know it. Come on. We got the little motherfucker, man. We got him. We got him. We got him, people. Top G. That's right. Me. Me. That's it. Me. So what's happening, people? Where have I been? Where have I been? What's going on? We get into all that. But first of all, let's see what happened today. Let me tell you what happened today. Get around the campfire. We're getting into it, peeps. So I'm sleeping, having my beauty sleep. As you can see, it's not fucking working. I need to get my money back. Anyway, now, yeah? I get woken up. Now, the postman, like everyone else, he knows I'm a recluse. He knows I don't leave the ass. So all he's got to do is buzz me buzzer, and I let him in. That's the pattern me and the postman have got. He normally wakes me up. I wake up about 10 o'clock. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? Bun and zoo, cock back to bed. Anyway, 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 yeah? But this time, I didn't want to ask to the postman. You know what I mean? I'm not asking to the postman all the time. What do you think this is? Door service? Like I'm a fucking bellboy or something? No, 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 no. Ain't none of that, people. So I'm thinking, fuck the door, yeah? Fuck him. Anyway, the postman keeps ringing. Bing, 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 bing. I'm like, is he having a bubble? So I get up all the noise, yeah? Put my glasses on. And I shit myself. It's the old Bill. I'm like, oh, my God. I'm like, uh, hello? They're like, you're not in trouble, Mr. Lazar. I'm like, thank God for that. That's, that's, that's the kind of welcoming you want to get from the old Bill. You're not in trouble. So, you know, we're starting off on a good foot. I'm like, all right, cool. Like, we come to the door. And it's that Blondie from last time. Shout out to Blondie that keeps coming, yeah? Me and you are going to have to have a relationship. I can feel something like brewing, yeah? Getting a bit clingy. You keep coming to me ass. There's only one, one thing that can mean. She fancies me. This bird, she fancies me. If you're, jo- if you're watching this, I'm joking, yeah? Joking if you're watching this now, yeah? Anyway, so I'm standing there. I'm like, oh, what's going on? I'm chatting to her. Now, I've just woken up, yeah? I've been smoking Stardust all night, yeah? I'm bloody groggy as fuck. So I'm chatting to her, and then... Satan told me, Dan, look down. So I look down. I'm standing there chatting to this bird in my pants. Hmm? In my fucking tighty whities my people. I nearly died. That's nightmare material. You're chatting to a bird. You look down. You've got no clothes on. Happened to me this morning. I'm like, ah, can I get some clothes, please? Can I get some clothes? I'm running around my house like I'm about to get raided. I'm like looking for some shorts in that. I've got my pants on, people. Feeling like a little victim, bub. Might have to me too, that bird. You know what I mean? Fuck you, hell. Anyway, so I'm like, what's going on? And it's like, right, Andrew, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm okay. I'm like, I'm not going to just, I don't care if she's called me Andrew. Like, what's this about? I'm not even going to correct this bird. What do you want? She's like, just letting you know we've arrested that person for smashing your windows. I was like, yes, come on. Took you lot long enough. Now, you lot, you may have your pals out there. Your pals may have your back. But no, 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 not like my pals. Not like my pals. My pals will look for you. If I bring up my pals, yeah, my pals from KTP. That's my gang. Can you hear them? They're repping. They're coming to say hello. Yeah, jumping on the live stream. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. So we're repping KTP from now on. How do we do that? This is the gang sign. K. Is that K? All right, you can do whatever you want for the K. And then the T and P. That's Kentish Town Police. Those guys are on smoke. You call them up, say, yeah, 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 some, 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 some cunts fucking me. They'll go looking for them with the fellas. They get the fellas out. Yeah, fellas will be looking for you for time. I tell my pals, something just happened. They say, oh, that's deep. Oh, shit, what are you going to do? 
Well, what are you going to do, bub? I just told you, you. I'm bringing you up for assistance. You know what I mean? Fuck all that shit. So I'm rocking with KTP. Going to get a little tattoo across my arm there. KTP. Fucking have it, right? You know what I mean? Let's have it right. The boy's in blue. Yeah, yeah, I'm wearing blue today. Just to fucking rep. Blue and white. Just to represent the boys. You know what I mean? Gang colours, that is. Gang, gang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so they're at me door talking. And I'm like, oh, no way. And then... It hit me. In my head, I'm cracking up. I'm cracking up. I'm thinking that silly cunt sitting in the cell. This YouTube beast finished ages ago. Everyone's on to new things now. No one even gives a fuck. But you, you silly cunt, with your little gangster attitude. Now, listen, people. Listen. I'm all for having fun. I'm all for being a troll online. I'm all for taking the piss. I'm all for that. But there's rules to this shit, people. One, if you can't give it, if you can't take it, don't give it. Two, let's at least be truthful without we're bantering people, because we can all live in a fucking fantasy world. You know what I mean? And three, let's keep it respectful. That silly cunt didn't do none of it. No one even invited him to the party. He just made up a whole lot of lies. You know? Because I was so popular, he latched on to me. You know? Anyway, anyway, anyway. This silly cunt, yeah? This is what I've figured out. My, in my brain. Let me tell you the scenario that's happened now, yeah? Let me tell you the scenario that's happened. This silly cunt is come down to be asked with whoever he's come down with now, yeah? He was waiting outside my house for three hours. My neighbor told me to see a car with a couple guys. So I'm like, all right, all right, all right. She's like, they was out there for three hours. Why would you be out some, outside someone's house for three hours? You know what I mean? From 12 o'clock till three in the morning. All right, sweet. So they're there for that long. And then my windows get smashed, I'll make a video, they fuck off and go and smash Hector's videos. Yeah? I mean, Hector's videos, Hector's windows. Yeah? So, I wake up the next morning. Yeah? I'm thinking, that was a mad fucking night. Yeah? My morning's about to get even madder. Because now I get two hot female officers, yeah? Come in, knocking at my door, talking about, was there a woman stabbed here last night? They come to do a welfare check, people. A welfare check at my house after my windows have got smashed. I'm thinking, I can't catch a fucking break. I'm a victim of crime, and you're asking me about some bird who's been stabbed. I don't know, I don't know about this bird, but I've, my windows have been smashed. They didn't give a fuck about my windows. It was like, fuck you, where's the woman? I'm like, there is no woman. After 20 minutes of asking me about a woman that did not exist, we found out there was no woman, and I was actually the victim. Cool. But I didn't call the police. Cool. So who the fuck called the police? Was it my neighbour? Was it my other neighbour? Was there anyone on Roundy Street? I'm fucking all well, any of my neighbours. No, it weren't. It was a call from outside London. Yeah, a call from outside London. Who the fuck knew about they going to do my ass, yeah? Outside London at three in the morning. Now, people, now, people, I've said it before, but I'll say it again. This guy tried to set it up where the police would come down, he would be outside my house, and he would then further his bullshit lies by saying, look, living in London called the police on us. He called the police themselves. But guess what? Now you've been nicked. All this comes out. Where the phone call come from, the welfare check, everything. It all comes out. And I guarantee you it comes from this little mug's area. But you know me, people. I'm more of a, I'm like a teacher. I'm like someone who likes to give, you know, lessons out and stuff like that. And this is a lesson for everyone involved. Just because someone's pissing you off, just because someone's being disrespectful, you don't have to go and... like back it up by using violence and the other stuff that's all in the past like i'm telling you now though i'm telling you now it is a hard life when you one you've changed like me i come on my doorstep i'm like people people of camden come gather around i have an announcement to make i no longer choose the life of uh, crime i no longer react in violence i'm a man of peace i am a man that turns the other cheek Everyone in Camden was all looking. They was all smiling. I was smiling. They was looking at each other, smiling. And their faces all turned. They was like, let's get him. I have never been attacked so much in my life since I fucking started being a nice guy. It's the hardest thing in the world, people. And when you're used to defending yourself with violence, and now what you've got is, uh, you ain't got shit, really. You've just got to run. You've got your night trainers, bruv. You better get some night trainers with some air bubbles in it. Yeah, because you've got to run, people, because you're going to get attacked. Imagine that. I'm out here telling people I've changed my life. 
I no longer want to do this. I got people like you're a cunt. You're a mug. When I see you, I'm gonna do you. You mug. Look at you with your bald head. I'm like these motherfuckers don't know. I'm trying to hold it in in that. Trying to hold it in. My fucking. I'm cooking all the hair on top of my head, people. It's getting emotional. Emotional damage. You know what I mean? So, just if you do change out here, people, do not expect it to get easier. Expect it to get fucking harder. Expect it to get tested from little mugs that you would have squashed when you was a violent cunt. But now you're trying to be the bigger man. Yeah? It is not easy. It is not fucking easy. You know? But... But on days like this, when you get a knock on the old fucking from the old bill and they say they've got that geezer that come and down your windows, oh, the joy, the happiness. Oh, my God, was I happy. Cheese Louise, people. Cheese Louise. I couldn't tell you how happy it was. I was cracking up. I was thinking about Uncle K and himself, his little Jack Jones T-shirt, sweating. Yeah, his birds blatantly cheating on him already. It was just fun. I was embracing the moment, people. It even got me on YouTube. And you know it takes a lot these days to get me back on it. It's turned so toxic on it, people. Decker Heggy wanking dogs off. Don't believe it. Of course I don't. But you know, just like so much name calling and all the other shit. Fuck me, people. I'm so glad I left it behind. You know? Not left YouTube. Even though we have to talk about YouTube, you know? YouTube's not acting right. Russell Brand. We all know what happened with Russell. Yeah? He got some allegations. All of a sudden, YouTube demonetized them. Everyone's calling him a nonce. You lot and this word nonce. All you got to do is be like, think he's a nonce, you know? Next person's like, he's a fucking nonce. I've seen the paperwork. Before you know it, there's a campaign. He's a nonce. He's a nonce. Nonce is the easiest thing to do these days, to nonce someone off. He's a fucking nonce. Yeah, yeah. That he's a nonce. And that's it. You just got to fucking prove your innocence. Yeah, there ain't no innocent until proven guilty. Is fucking sort it out because these are on me. You know what I mean? So I could go back onto Rumble or something. Uh, Uncle K is smoking in his. Yeah, but so could you imagine? Uncle K must have got on the. I wonder how they found him. Now, you know people, you know me. I'm open. I'm open like a book. I will let you in on everything. When I get this statement, when I get all that kind of stuff. Now, see me, I went to make a statement. I asked the woman three times, can I come down to the police station and please make a statement? I'm high as fuck, yeah? In my head, I'm giggling. Because I've already thought about what I'm going to say. Because they're going to read it out in court if this goes to court. And even if it don't, I get my own statement back written, yeah? I was going to just, just have the best statement ever. It was going to be like, I knew it was Uncle K because I saw someone outside five foot with a flat cap in a Jack Jones tracksuit. He sounded angry and he looked like an angry garden gnome. They kind of, it's my statement, I can write what I want. And the judge would have to read it out. The police were going to have to read it to him. And he'd be like, he's mugging me off. He's mugging me off. And I'd be like, yeah, and he's fat bird. Oh, bruv, it would have been hilarious. You know, but they said, no, all the voice notes you sent us, all everything else. You know, when Uncle K smashed my windows, he thought it was a good idea. So imagine that, yeah? You've got some big head geezer with glass on YouTube and he's just winning. He's fucking winning. He's battling everyone. Yeah? But he's also changed his life. And he also says, I don't deal with violence no more. Call the police if you've got a problem. Let them deal with it. Find other ways. This silly cunt's like, I'm going to smash his window and I'm going to leave a hundred voice notes telling him I smashed his window. Now, you know me, people. I may not be the smartest fucking tool in the box. But I know when I'm on to something. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, winding him up. I'm like, yeah, yeah, whatever, blah, 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 this, that, the other. He's like, I'll smash the windows, done this, done that, going to smash Hector's windows now. Oh, I just passed all that onto the old girl when they came. And listen, Uncle K called the police. That is the worst case of self snitching I've ever called, heard of in my life. You called the police to make me look like I snitched, yeah? But yeah, when we find out where the phone call come from and it weren't London and we're going to see what time it was, it's all going to point to you and your little trolling ways and your bullshitting ways. And this is why it's so stressful, people, because there's a lot of lies and there's a lot of bullshit on YouTube. There's a lot of fakeness. I'm being as real as I can. Who else sits here and fucking all this other shit? You know what I mean? So trust me, people, when I tell you, 
These guys are just fucking idiots. But I haven't been keeping up with most of it. They haven't really been much to keep up with. It's been dead. It's been shit, really. Uncle Caden, 13 Welsh Roads. The BMX window clean needs to be. Um, Uncle K is a disgrace. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and you know what it was, yeah? The woman told me where it was from. When the policewoman was here, she told me the area where Uncle K, I mean, where, 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 where the phone call came from. And it was, she, and I asked her today, when she called me back and I was talking to her, she was like, um, I was like, so what was the area? Because I'd, I'd woken up by then. I'm like, what was the area? She's like, I don't know, up north somewhere. Where's Uncle K from? Up north somewhere. This all points to these little trolls. But we're going to expose them. And you know another thing? Why did they disappear after smashing my windows? Remember, I'm just a mug. I'm just a mug in Camden, yeah, and all the other stuff. So why did he disappear? Someone definitely put him up to this. Someone definitely put Uncle K up to this. They know what I'm about, whoever put him up to this. And I guarantee you they're from around here. I will find out, I promise you, whoever it was from around here. Yeah, but that's another story, yeah? But I guarantee you, somebody around here, some little jealous mug, put him up to it because he's at the area. But what they never expected was that silly little cunt would come down here and smash my windows. Because, you know? But anyway, they've done that and it's happened. And now it's all unraveling. And guess what? That shit makes me laugh. You know? Because people, if you're 40 something years old, getting into YouTube beefs and taking it for anything other than banter and thinking, you know what? If I go down there and smash his windows, it's going to above that. Like, bro, like, what the fuck was you thinking? You ain't proved nothing. Everyone still thinks you're a cunt. Your bird's still a fat slag in leggings and hoodies. Yeah? Her whole swag is leggings and hoodies and white T-shirts. That's all the bird can wear, mate. Yeah? And you want to try and get onto me? Bro, you know. You know, innit? That's why you hid. That's why you was always out of London. That's why you would never give your address, no matter how many times people asked. That's why you would always talk the most disrespectful shit. Because you thought this shit wouldn't come back and bite you in the ass. You thought people wouldn't get your address. You want to hope they didn't catch you at your home address. Because when I get this statement, it will tell me all of that kind of stuff. And I will read it out online. You know me, I don't give a fuck. So let's hope it's got his name and address and all the other stuff, eh? Uncle K, let's see how tough you are when your address is out there. Because me, I'm still the same, brother. Ain't nothing changed with me. My window's always still open and all the other shit. Let's see how tough you are and how many people you threaten and how many kids people you talk about, yeah? When your address is out there and everyone knows where you live. Stop hiding, brother. Well, I've found you. See, I'm not going to get all angry and start getting, you fucking smash my windows. Do you know who I am? Do you know this? Do you know fuck all that, mate? I'll get the old bill to look for you. How about that? And you sent the old bill to my ass. These people are fucking nuts, people. And you've got to remember, I'm a changed man. But at the same time, if you're a changed man, you've got to do stuff and you've got to put yourself in positions where you're not going to get aggravated, agitated. You're not going to have to just think, fuck it and do something. So because YouTube was getting to the point where I was really going to just, you know, do something stupid to one of these guys, I thought, nah, man, fuck all that shit. Just get back to it. I ain't been gym in ages. My whole life's gone like that, in the fucking dirt. It was all good a couple of years ago. I was giving advice on YouTube. I was feeling good. Nah, it's the total opposite. This life is hard, people, and it's like levels. You can be doing good when you're on level 38. Let yourself get to level 39, level 40. It starts getting harder. You start getting different challenges. You think you've got it all figured out, but trust me, life's got some shit for you, and it's got some shit for me. So don't be sitting there thinking you've got it all figured out and you know how this thing goes. Because trust me, it's hard, mate. <sighs> he was looking for a new place to put his private... Yeah, mate, trust me. This geezer, bro. The geezer was putting... Like, I don't know anyone. The only people that I knew about public, New Delta Pilot radio stations were the people that owned them. And like I said, the MCs and the DJs. This guy was the person, the arsehole, that sticks up the antenna. Like, when I tell you this guy was literally nobody, never been around it, but because he felt so safe on the internet and he thought he could just keep talking shit no matter what. You know what I mean? 
with no repercussions. Saudi Arabia, because me and I want to say, when I just kept clicking on them, and just talking to shake them, and I went, are you all right? All good, anyway, Jay. Me and I can't believe I found a trip, mate. That's fucking more Is that Bob's bum liquor on the panel? Aye, right, Jay, so is that Bob's right. stuff there? <laughs> oh, I have Bob's my friend, but he has his yo 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 yo. He just wants to see Bob's. But then Bob's just like, go, go, come yeah. on. If I put my last load of legs up, you will all be like, oh, Bob, sorry. And then, you that's a big ass. Why do you think I keep my comments down yet? It's because it's the same thing. Why do people want to know that? Do you get the people at Marchie and you're one of them? <laughs> I don't understand. Mm. I don't understand. Like, what do you, what yeah, I know, man. I, I know, man. I ghost me, man, man. There's people no computers about me, man. I haven't looked at really college, you know. Right, Jay, what did you do to the mouse? But here, I just... What did you do to the mouse? Never made the flatten. What, man? What did you do to the mouse, Charger? I see that I said the fuck up, son. What did you do to her? She was your best mate last week. Now you're black, Charger. What the fuck, shit? <laughs> What's the crack, Jack? See me, I was doing your mom, hey. Castro. Hey. Yo, I've called Castro, make out. Yo, 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 yo. She's the asshole. Oh, yeah. She's the asshole. 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 She's the Oh, it's a shit. Oh, that's how it is. Yes, hello. Fuck me, what have I jumped on to? Hiya, Belfast, you okay? Hi, are Belfast. you, Keely? You all right, love? Hi. Yeah, I'm fine, oh. thanks, babes. Sure you, you were pregnant until Jay jumped on. <laughs> you know what I did? I've only been on 10 seconds, honest to God, and my head is fucking thumping. I feel stoned. I just want to run and nut the wall. I'm sure lost. What the fuck's even going on? <laughs> I'm having a clue. I'm having a fucking clue. I'm right, right. going to draw me a fucking picture, so I've got at least a clue. I, I, I started this leg to slabber about Bob's name. Nine. Yes, yeah, straight and right. It's your fault. I <laughs> had to come on for a meeting a few dogs, sir. Yes, straight and right. Straight and right. He hasn't got big enough balls to say that. Exactly. He ain't got the sack for it. It's KQ, you see it. He only smokes a few dogs. Your opinion on her, Jay? Mmm. <laughs> 30 sand of wall and I, I was on I was on the old door and eight man before the day the shut it down and us three times we were porn bomb last night. You still sign your name. Me and you're out of breath. <laughs> me and Jimmy were porn bomb three times last night. Me and Honest Jimmy are like three bomb. You already seen the pics in the background. See me look in the background though, because Jimmy's maybe a super spawner. Because Jimmy loves me. Jimmy's my monitor. Jimmy's my other cover agent. Anyway, here, Jimmy loves the J, right? So we give Jimmy one. What's the Oh my god. You had to stick your head in the freezer for a second. It's good to see you back, Jay. Good to see you, mate. See you next year again, mate. You want to have Sandy one of these dogs there? I need to get in the bath and just put my head under the water and not come back up. Who knows an That's apology a... to Castro anyway? I yeah, need to apology to mouse to her. I I know Castro, but I'm not bothered. I just kind of be on with that shape. My head thumping. That's so, fact. Irish, getting back to the beginning, what, 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 what you seeing? What am I saying? What ba Bob's is just saying Bob's a skinny down looking horrible cunt. I'm a big fucking bastard. She'll fucking. <laughs> I've seen thicker twenty pound notes come off fucking come out of smackheads pockets. <laughs> I've got far I'll rest less over here. Aye, yeah, I'm the skinny cunt. I'm what, the skinny Well, you're cunt. only winding us up when you said something about holding your hand or something. Who's holding whose hand? You were winding, you were winding fucking me up. I didn't say nothing. <laughs> you, you said something like, Babs has got a picture and you all you can see is a hand holding my hand. It's, it got sent a picture no. of Babs oh, pointing no, out in the no, snow. We we, remember we let on, we knew who she was and all the stab her from getting trolled. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Well, she sent me a few. What she's done is hold the phone in one hand, 
front face the camera. Got one of them square sticky pads that you write on, you stick on the fridge, you know, like you're doing your theory test. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> one of them, she's put it in her hand and she's put her hand as far farther, far out as she can stretch it. And, and then it says, It's me, Babs. Basically, you're nothing but a fucking square, fucking slim, thin, fucking piece of paper. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? When it rains, I swear to fuck, that woman will go down a drain. <laughs> See, I've said, I've said it from day one. You don't know how fucking you are. Lucky you are to have me. I do now. Yeah, no, you are, Uncle. Our Peggy's That's actually right, bro. Our Peggy runs the show in the background. Peggy's my boss. Post-it notes. Right. All our names are on post-it notes. Put it that way. Aye. That's the best way of putting it. So we cover somebody's fridge. Isn't that wonderful? Nilo, what a fuck, man. I was reading that there myself. <laughs> <laughs> so what's she in? Is she in like a gaming group like Tunes, or? Oh, is that yeah. where the from? Listen, I'll fuck the, listen, if they keep pressuring and fucking people and torturing people, listen. He's backstage, and Cog's backstage. Yep. So, so are they gamers, mate? They're gamers, they're gamers, and they're all gamers. Aye, gamers, man. No, me's backstage, too. Yeah, that's just nice. Sorry, boys. I... Yeah, Jesus Christ, that was people. fucking relentless, eh? No one, listen to why, because it goes like five across the bottom, and then you, you have to scroll on down. You know what I mean? No, I was you? talking about fucking Juno taking a breath. <laughs> fucking hell. He's been on this YouTube about five years and he still can't it's fuck on that someone else talk. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's a fucking dolphin, is A dolphin. Post it notes. Post, let's post it notes. Post it notes. They even yellow things that you fucking <laughs> stick on your fridge to remind yourself. You know what I mean? I need, to watch, I need to watch Aye. Finest, I need to watch Irish, I need to make sure that these are all the numbers and they're all connected Aye. and I, I can phone them all. Paper. I need to write on this paper, this is me, Babs, Irish. It's and me. this is the date he spoke bad about me, and this Cover is the date he spoke Sean bad about Pete me. Irish, I thought Sean couldn't fight because he here. had something wrong with Bremen. Listen to us here, this is hard all played out for me, right? This is hard all played out for me, so in the background, Mark's going to me, She's a slimy cunt. Watch her. <laughs> this, watch this, right? This, right? And then in the horse age, she's going, oh, watch Mark, watch things, so, right? So Mark was the first person who came and said to me, look, she said a load of bullshit to me behind your back. So she was talking about me to, to him and thought he wouldn't have said that. And when he turned around and said he was going to say, he obviously came and told me. I didn't react to it and didn't even say nothing that I just landed on it didn't even happen. Do you know what I mean? And then she came at me, oh, Mark is here and Mark out there and I was your fucking thick Trump. The wee lad was two weeks ahead of you, you fucking fool. Do you know what I mean? He told me a fact thing two mm. weeks ago before you, two weeks before you, he told me everything you fucking, you're stalking him, you've sent him voice notes, you're sending him axes and kisses and things like that. You were doing that to me in messages. Sending me axes and all saying, oh, it was an accident. I didn't mean to do that, no. Do you know what I mean? You're a fucking creepy bastard. So what, what's she texting you again last night? So what, what, what's brought what, on? What, 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 she trying to shut me up? Uh. I heard the phone ringing. Uh-huh. <laughs> I was in Jimmy's this morning. I just caught the, just was, uh, I was in just a minute I'm, before I'm, I'm, you. The could have happened at a better panel because... I've known Jimmy my whole time on YouTube, mate. I've known Jimmy my whole time on YouTube, you know what I mean? And uh, I've had a spanner in Jimmy's so fucking, and a new mate, Rappy Days. Once he made that comment, she didn't fucking realise, oh, uh, there's somebody going to the police in the chat, you know what I mean? Uh, but it was just two weeks ago, you were telling people you were going to the police, Babs. I mean, Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you're getting to send me on, mate. Ah, listen, 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 every year, every year I has one, a pissing, pissing drunk, alcoholic, skinny Dan looking fucking mongrel. You know what I mean? Mate, what the fuck you hear them dogs barking on? She says I need to go and let the dogs out. You need to fucking let yourself out. You need to get a bit of fucking sunlight about you or something. You look like a fucking, this, this is your time of year, Babs. So it is. Get the toffee apples going and start selling them around the doors, I mean. 
That's you, you laugh at you, don't fuck me, they're going to deal with you now, mate. I'm on my boss. I'm only saying, but listen, I'm only saying, but like, watch them go for Lamy. Watch them attack Lamy now, you know what I mean? Imagine right now at the RTG you know. about 60 AGI, yeah, that crook shit, you know what I mean? Right new for That shit, they write you when you're about 10, Jay, yeah, not 50 odd, you clown. <laughs> I've tried to go on every kind of Irish on this place. It's fucking no, I, possible. I, listen, I know, mate. I, even last night, but you and Ting, it was fucking... Uh, was okay, laughing. mate, it's weird, bro. Are you I fucking weird? I fucking bet that too. <laughs> fucking hell. Nah, I was sweet by the end of it. Wasn't, it was aye, only everyone. I was wanting to end it, and fucking everybody was looking to jump on. I mean, that we, I'm looking at the screen going four hours. I'm knackered. I'm standing here fucking... Fuck aye, that was me. dead weird last night. Oh, and everybody was jumping on the end. Like, Jay, for a crazy, no, I'm on about ye. <laughs> You'll need all these coffees to keep <laughs> you up, man. <laughs> <laughs> Gail, who are you fighting with? Me or Cut? You? <laughs> Everyone. There's only one man that I fight with, mate, and it's you. The witches run away from Bob's and Halloween. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> I'm only here for a laugh, Irish. I've seen it every day. Why the folk didn't like it then? It's fucking just superb. Oh, well, it, you know what I mean? Folk, you know what I mean? If someone said they're not, they're not, I always said, listen, go where you want and do what you want. You know what yep. I mean? Who the fuck would I be to come and say to you, oh, she's a bad egg? I, you, you know from listening to me, she's a bad egg. I've seen it from day folk and one. I've seen it from day folk and one. For somebody that hates everybody, well, why are you on every fucking channel? In every chat, any pa every panel, for someone that hates everyone. Are you on the very bad vibes, eh? Aye. Aye, you're on the very sound, that's valid, valid, you know what I mean? Fucking... Listen, all we, used to, that, all, all we used to get out of her was crying, mate, right? Oh, my mum, my dad, oh, so it seems to be, she lost her mum and dad through COVID, before COVID, whatever the fuck, and it's fucking whacked her hard right now, that's understandable, we all... Mm -hmm. Have loved ones, we all lost mm -hmm. families and shit like that. But you don't sit and play and try and pull on people's heartstrings and all. Do you know what I mean? Oh, my family is. <clears> no, <throat> we we used to go to China all the time. We used to do the explode. It was explosives, right? It was explosives. Then then it turned into fireworks, mate. You know what I mean? Supposed to be a school band. They blown mm. up the day. I know they're by. They're both bangers, I. <laughs> 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 Red banging companies are fucking, they're all fucking liquidated, mate. She's skin. She hasn't a pot of pissing. She's cracking up because I didn't give her an ass 100 quid. Uh, <laughs> and she's fucking... Sorry, Take Bob. Job, I've got it for a nice bunch of flowers and a Chinese. Oops, sorry. Uh, that's it. I got fucking must, must be bought her that you shut the shop down. Oh, <laughs> <up Barbara>. <laughs> 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 She was looking a couple of fighting Irish for hunks. <laughs> yeah. A the rapper in her dog's mouth is a fucking dog mask. <laughs> a Bob's muzzle. Only choking me, Bob. Stop be fucking going at me now. I know, I've been doing a couple of Belfast finals. Oh, I'll be on the fucking list now because Irish has brought the dog to make us what do you mean, I brought you on? You can't keep away. I could have just put your name in the title. Bob, Enjoy your lunch, Jack. Bob, fuck off. I'm going to get my guilty. I hate to be banned lunch in London. I'm going to start writing the title. Bob, you're dead. Our Gail's going to get you. Bob, 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 Something smart to say, no man. We song with Jordy's gonna get ye the job. Oh my god, that sounded dead creepy. Bob, 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 yeah, travelers, yeah. Yeah, but they're not travelers. There's a lot of travelers around here, Patrick. There is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And all them have bit oh they, listen, do all them have really dark skin and big curly hair. Yeah. You never heard of Cadonas, Patrick? No. 
No, uh, because they've they, got a strong desire. Because they're they're gypsies. They're gypsies. That's why. That's why I wouldn't hurt them. The gypsies. Where are you from, the Patrick, in the Ireland? I am from I am from my mother, but I, anyway, out from that, okay. I am from I'm from Tum County Galway, okay. That's where I'm from, yeah. Nice. What Southern Ireland? <laughs> oh, Billy, Billy, the knacker slayer. See, Billy can't talk again because oh, Billy's Billy. missus won't let him talk. Because Billy said, if you jump on and you say anything to Patrick, he won't service me next week. And I told Billy this, <laughs> Billy, Billy, I'm sick of servicing her. There's a bang of campfire out of her. Billy, sort her fanny out, okay? And then I'll go back next week, okay? Yeah, there's you. Billy. Billy. Aye. Billy with the small Billy. Yeah. Billy, Good talk then. Talk. Billy. Billy the cook. We call Billy. So, <laughs> we said, <laughs> Billy the cook. That's what we call Billy. Billy the cook. Billy likes to watch. Billy likes to watch this. Billy likes to wipe the sweat off my back when I service his missus. I'm not servicing no more, Billy, if she smells like that. Honestly. <laughs> Honestly. Fuck Come on, mate. Bit of soap. Oh, he's me. Oh, for... Honestly. Gee, gee, oh, like, I mean, come on. It doesn't cost that much for a bit of soap. Billy, come on. I do what he does, yeah? So, Billy hasn't left his home in the last 15 years, yeah? Billy likes to watch me walk in, and he'll peek at the top of the stairs and say, Billy, get back into bed. I'm here, service her, Billy. He said, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Fuck you, no. Billy, Billy, Billy the cook. I told you, Billy. Oh, Don't me. turn to me, Billy. Oh. Don't turn to me. Billy, your missus turned my stomach. You turned to me, and Billy. Billy. Your missus turned my stomach. He's bare nook boxes and bare... Okay, listen, blah, 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 blah. The old no, plastic cupboard. He's not even talking, Patrick. No, I know. I'm reading chat. Anyway, listen to me. Geo, mate. How are you? No, I said nobody's muted. Yeah. Billy no, just no, don't... No, listen. This is what Billy does, uh, Geo. They don't want to enter his house as well. He does the exact same thing. He sits in the corner. And I said, Billy... What the fuck is going on? And he says, he just nods at me. And then, obviously, I service is missing. But the guy, it's been going on for yeah, quite a while. Okay? Yeah, yeah, it's been going on for quite a while. I've been serving his missus. And anyway, I, but the last time the last time I ate a bit of haddock and the stink of fish, ever, I told her, Billy, wash her. Wash your lady bits, and then I will return. I will return, obviously. And I told you, Billy. I know, I know, you know, he texted me there the last night. He said, thank you for putting a ward in my missus. Now I can walk around Manchester with my head held high. I said, Billy, I, I said, you're welcome. I said, you're welcome. I said, you're absolutely welcome. I said, because Billy, B Billy's about four foot five. <laughs> Billy is a small willy with a big tubby belly. Billy, I done you a favor. I put it. I put a knacker in your missus, so you can call yourself the knacker slayer. No, I'm Billy. Patrick, you're in Manchester now, then, yeah. Sorry. Manchester, you should say. Yeah, I'm living in Manchester, but yeah, 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 I'm living in Manchester. What's the, what's yeah. The team sport? City or Manchester? Sorry. United. What's the football team sport? City or United? Oh, United, yeah. United, yeah. Yes, I mean United. But, but no, no, but listen, me and Billy, Mrs. spoke on this and we said that we would say it together. So, Billy, get off the phone. Billy, go back up you know, to the room now. You know, doc, 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 oh, fuck me. Doc, 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 no, Dofty's a traveller. They live in Manchester. Yeah, they do live in Manchester, yeah. Yeah. But they don't play for United, though. So. I, I, you're no, no, playing no, football no. and you do the good job. Listen to me, Billy, Billy with the small Billy, tell your missus I'll be around again, yeah? But this time, this time, she has to clean the vag, okay. yeah? Yeah, clean the vag, miss. It's clean the vag. Exactly. Oh. Billy, yeah, you if anybody wants to jump on. 
Okay, you there? No, I can... What? Me? I am Billy. Billy. Oh, boy. <laughs> We have the upper board, you know. Billy. Question. Okay. Back it. Billy Nakestai. Karaoke. 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 You haven't seen nothing what Billy has said about my wife and my kids. So you only you you only seen the half of it, okay? Billy, Billy has been a cook from, from Billy's been okay. Listen, I I, I don't I, I didn't even want to say this. Okay, Billy's been a cook, and now that I am pregnant, he's misses and his missus is after giving born to a knacker, yeah, a, a ward knacker, I might say. Now Billy is getting brave in the chat, saying, "I'll meet you with your knacker son." <laughs> Yes, Billy, with my neck or something. But Billy, I won't claim him because you're missing a of So, yeah, man. Karake, go back in the chat and read, yeah? But he calls knackers, he calls himself Billy the Knacker Slayer, okay? Which, which, which the word knacker yeah, is a derogatory word. It, it is a derogatory word towards travelers, okay? It's like calling a black person the N word, okay? Towards travelers. So, yeah, I'm going to go harden Billy like I went harden his wife, okay? Do you understand? So, Karake, go to bed. He's on, man. Oh, people on the world. Celtic is in, in the chat. Celtic, I have the height of respect for you, man. <sighs> anyway, listen, move on. Listen, um, Gio, just kick him off because, listen, nobody could huh? be muted. Um, Billy. Are you are we Billy. gonna pee? You gonna pee? You know, just kick him, kick him off, and maybe he might try to come back in then again later. I don't know. He can't be muted that long, surely to God. Anybody's muted? Yeah, yeah but he's, he's there on the panel, but he can't even talk. Andy, yeah. Andy, Andy, the only person I fear is our Lord in heaven. And now for many, anyone else? No. I'll be an in. Thy kingdom come. 100% so, Rick. Listen to me. No one. No one. And all I do to the likes of you, I'd kick you around for fun. I'd kick you up and down the yard for around for fun. Anyway, but I'm not here for that. I'm here for banter. But, um, Billy, Billy, if you're coming on calling yourself a knacker slayer, you do understand the word knacker is a derogatory term towards our people. You do understand that. That's like calling a black person the N-word. But you can do that because your missus know, Billy, the reason that you're able to walk around Openshaw in Manchester is because I put a knacker inside your missus. And now you're getting brave about it. Yeah? And when he comes to 18 years, no, when he comes to 16 years of age, I'll teach him how to fight, yeah? <laughs> I told you that, Billy. Okay, so keep keep calling knackers, son. Keep calling knackers. You dirty, handicapped bastard, yeah? Billy! Billy with the small willy, and Billy's missus with the big fanny. Billy, talk now. Billy's on again. Billy, no, Billy can't talk again. What, 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 what? Billy got stage fight. Billy got stage fright again. Oh, Billy, Billy, Bi Billy the cook. What's wrong with you, Billy? Talk. Billy, talk. Billy, talk. 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 Billy, talk. Billy doesn't even have stutters. Billy just, he's shell shocked. Stage fright. But that, see, that's why I, I had to service your missus, Billy, because you were stage fright as well no. with that. Ah, Billy. Billy with the small willy. But anyway, Billy, I told you, tell her to wash down below or I'm not going back. Do you get me? Yeah? She threw me off my fish dinner the last time. Honestly. Oh, K 
take that fucking handicap off. <laughs> Biddy with the small willy. <laughs> Boys on. Archie by Hoy, shit, son. What is it? I'll stay there. Archie boy just hit me with a tenner. Archie hit you with a tenner? Fair play, yeah, Archie. Aye. Nice, mate. Mm-hmm. Bro, you can talk, can't you, bro? Archie, lad. Oh. All right, Archie, lad. He did, yeah. He hit you with a super sticker, yeah. Archie, lad. Fucking respect. Listen to me. Yeah, Archie. Good night, mate. Yeah, Archie, Archie, Archie is 100%. Archie is 100%. Yeah, yeah Archie. He tri- yeah, no, listen, the thing about Archie, Archie will say it how it is 100%. He will. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, was. he attended GI. Nice, mate. All right, Cara. Um, nobody's blocked the means that I know, but I don't block anybody. I keep my enemies close. <laughs> Do you talk to your yeah, wife like you. that, pervert Patrick? Cara, what yeah, happens you. between me? Uh, what happens between me and my wife uh, uh, in our bedroom has nothing to do with you, Cara. Okay. Okay. Um, stop. Stop. You dirty. So, Cara, it sounds like you're trying to come on to me. Uh, I told you, I'm a happily married man. Okay. <laughs> So, Karaoke, listen to me. Oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can't. Andy, the only one thing, was it? Andy, the only thing we have in common is we're Irish. I'm Irish too. And uh, we're I'm only messing with you. Gio, hope you're okay for that. Uh, Celtic. Uh, didn't have to um, Walk back. Now, let's see, Gio, Gio, when they call Nat, so Nat, listen to me, so Gio, I don't, I, I genuinely don't care. I just pose off them. So when they call Nacker, Nacker is a racism word towards us, towards travellers, okay? I don't care about it, okay? Because I put a Nacker in every last one of your misses, and then you'd have sons or daughters to say, able to fight, okay? Call me Nacker all you want. Anyway, we'll move on. Billy. Knacker Slayer, look, say to Billy Knacker Slayer, I slayed your wife, but I'm telling you, I'm not going back again, Billy, because the bang of fish out of her fanny, Billy, Billy, I swear not to dead, it turned me off my supper. Now, I'm telling you, Billy, you need to tell her to fucking wash down below next time. Okay? That's all I'm saying. Uh, Billy, we're still where's friends. Billy, where's Billy gone? Billy's gone to wash his missus and text me. Billy's gone to wash his missus and text me. No, come around now. Nice. Come around now. <laughs> yep, I said. Betty, I told you not to point at me. Hi, right, Jizzy. Oh, 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 fucking fuck, I am still. Fuck. Said, so, remember when you time me out for 24 hours? I do. Andy, get over it. <laughs> Get build the bridge and get over. Come on, man. Where is Billy gone to school? Carlos Gambino, Billy is the knacker slayer. Carlos Gambino, yeah. Billy the knacker slayer. What you going? What you up to? All right. Oh, not in change. He's ch- he's not in your chan. Yeah, one hundred percent, miss. Anyway, I'm not even reading chat anymore. That's the way it is now. So, Chizzy. Yeah. Where are you from? Which beach? Near people, mate. I told you. What? Peter. <laughs> no Peter, don't you? Keep me on it. Hello, Peter. Somebody giggle down. Think you've heard Peter, haven't you? I can't hear you, mate. You've heard Peter, haven't you? Peter Burr. Yeah. No Wisbeach, yeah. it's Peter, a little town called Wisbeach, and there's Kings Lynn. I live between Kings Lynn and Peter. Oh, I miss you. Oh, I miss That's you. where I live. Yes, sir, Rick. Anyway, that's the way it is now. 
Yeah. That's an absolute shit. Alex, are you coming for me now? Billy, you jumped on. You jumped there's on. Four, You're still on the panel. There's been four stabbings here within four stabbings here within four months. Because yeah, one hundred percent. Listen to me, up. anyway. Listen, Billy, Billy, oh one six one. Why don't you jump on, Billy, and just have it out? Yeah, because Billy with the small Willy can talk. He's gone. Billy, I told you. Yeah, Billy's gone. Anyway, listen to me, Geo. Um, it was a pleasure. Um, you know, all right, mate. I'm going to jump off because. Yeah, but right. listen to me. I, I listen, Billy. Unlike you, mate, I do have a life. I have children. You can't pass it. No, yeah. I'm gonna jump back on and bat me in a minute. No, I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna put the phone on. <laughs> what? <laughs> you, are you going off? You mean? Know With you? What you? I'm staying. I'm staying here at the shop. All right. Okay, that's fine. Listen to me. No, listen to me. What it is? Listen to me. I have um, children. Uh, okay, I have a family. Do you understand? Yeah. I have yeah, family. Yeah, I understand, mate. Yeah, I understand, mate. Yeah, I have a life. Yeah, unlike you, Billy, with the small Willie. Unlike you, Billy, with the small willy. I give you children, Billy. So the next time when I it's, when you're it's in Willie, chat, it's big Willie. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 yeah, I, I give Mrs. Bill, Mrs. Billy, the big Willie. Yeah. Okay, so Billy. <laughs> Go off, you yeah? boy. It's a bit <laughs> Geo, listen, Geo, Chizzy, I respect you, right? Yeah. And good night and God bless you. Yeah. I, as long as you give me your used socks, I get turned on with a smell of stinky socks. <laughs> stinky socks with it. Stinky socks. Stinky socks. Spunky socks. No, your socks. No, I knew you were going to say that, you mink. You're not boy. Oh, you knew I was going to say that, G.I. now, didn't you? Right, so that's where we're going to end this for this morning. So I'll update you if anything else happens. Otherwise, um, I'm doing a I'm doing a live on the way to the gym later, um, so I'll be live later as always. Um, otherwise, I'll update you if anything else happens, and I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, 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 hey,